Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sanjay Parashar and today we'll learn about reporting in OSB 12C and we can leverage this report action for error handling and also for debugging OSB flows. In last two videos, we have talked about error handling in OSB and also the logging mechanism of OSB, how you can log certain information or error into the diagnostic files. So if you have not seen those videos, I highly recommend you guys to check those out. The link is in the description box and also on the top of this video uh, in the YouTube card section. So for message reporting, OSB uses a JMS reporting provider. So in background, a JMS producer publishes the report message to a queue. A message driven bean consumes it and publishes it to the database. And then our enterprise manager console shows that data on EM dashboard. So that's the complete backend mechanism of how this reporting action works. This could sound a bit complicated, but by default, it's very simple. And you only need to worry about all these classes, interfaces, beans. If you are an architect or if you are planning to create a custom reporting provider, however, we can only need to focus currently on report action and which makes everything very simple for you to log something or for you to debug any of the issues that you get in your OSB composite. So report action allows you to extract information from each message and writes it to a service bus reporting data stream. So in report action, you can use a key value pair in order to extract information from any of your uh, context variables of OSB. You can also use multiple keys and they will be coming as a comma separated keys in your EM dashboard that I'll show you when we'll complete the demo. And this will help you to search the particular report that you're looking for, the information that you logged uh, into your EM dashboard. So let's do a quick demo to show you how it works. So as you can see uh, in JDeveloper, let's create a new OSB project and let's call it reporting demo. So that's our project remote uh, reporting demo. Now I will be creating the folders and I'll also copy and paste the schema that I want to use from the older projects that we have created. I have shown you that in, in the previous tutorials. So I'll just do that and I'll come back to you. So here I have got proxy service folder resources schema and this reporting demo schema that has got request element, employee ID, name and location ID. And this is the format that we have been using for this, this particular series where we are exploring OSB error handling and logging and debugging options. So now I'll create a proxy uh, using this schema, which we have shown in the error handler demo service. So I'll fast forward this. And if you really want to learn how to do that, please, please do check. Uh, the other videos that we have created, we have explained this in details. So the proxy service and the pipeline is created. Now let's code and now let's try to capture some information give it a key value pair in our reporting action and see how we can use this and how we can see this in the in the enterprise manager let's check we'll drag and drop the pipeline pair And now 
in this re request stage only let's capture whatever the body that we get based on the employee id element so let's see how it works we have this report action we'll drag and drop it here so now as you can see the content and now it has a search key so that will be the key and whatever we give in the path will become a value and i'll show you how you can check that in in your enterprise manager to see this so first of all the content of this report we want the complete body variable and the key let's call call it as reporting demo imply id right variable the value of this will be of will take it from body and whatever the employee id that user gives we will keep that as a value for the key that we have given simple right so now let's deploy it and let's see how it stores the, these values it is deployed now let's go to the service bus console and test the service so as we can see reporting demo is deployed here and in order to test it we'll test this pipeline however as we know we haven't done anything in the in the logic business logic of pipeline pair so we'll just simply test it and then we'll check in the em dashboard to see how we can check the report that we have published there so let's give employee id 1001 name james location let's say canada cute so no response because we did not configure anything however we did configure report action now let's see how that report action displays the message on the enterprise manager so to check your report log into your enterprise manager then go to this target navigator under this go to service bus here we'll go to message reports option here under this what do we see under this report action index here the key will go where which you can search so if you remember the key that we gave was something like that reporting demo employee id so as you can see now under this report index we have reporting demo imp id which is the key and the value the value that we gave was the employee id that user submits and that was 1001 now it also gives us information on the uh, the path reporting demo proxy services is the folder right and also the pipeline which pipeline has this report coming from this error code will be generated in case uh, you are using this report in error handler now in the content we gave body because we want to capture the context variable body out of this report so if we'll click on this report index here you will have a little bit more information if you scroll down you see report body view report details you'll click on here we have report id name location so the complete body variable is saved here so like this you can capture this record similarly you can leverage this option in error handler also for example so if you want to use this report action in order to get the report on fault all you need to do is just search for error handler 
put an error handler on top of any stage or I mean you know the drill you if you have seen our video I have told you everything that where you can add the error handler and inside this you can use the report action like this and inside this you can either if you want you can give uh, any variable that you have created or if you want in this you can give the fault variable like this inside key you can give anything any key that you want to give you you know how it works now however inside here you can give fault and in the path variable you can give the fault code or the error code so if you give a customized error here you would know that which code you need to search in order to fetch all the reports that has been generated for that particular error so by now if you have been following this error handling series you have a very good understanding how you can play around with it i think i'll create a few more videos at least one more video on alerts uh, that might be the next video thank you so much for your time take good care of yourself have a nice rest of the day guys